new day. Like I said, it was gonna be. David trying to be too cute, but I ain't even got the time. This probably why it taking too long, cause he over here trying to be extra fly. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Anyway. It's our first time going out. Yes, first time going out. Really, we are on our way to baby's first doctor's appointment. So, dang. Go hit her thing. I'm getting with my. No, you hit her thing. Oh, hold on, I gotta get picked. But yeah, this is her with her first little bow. I'm gonna focus. A little bow on and everything. She got on just a plain white onesie. We got her itsy weetsy diaper bag. And she is sleeping so peacefully. Mm -hmm. And this is our first little outing. So we act like we don't got nothing to do. We got five minutes to make it to the doctor's. And, uh, but the doctor's like 10 minutes away. So it shouldn't be no big deal. I am starving. Hopefully we can get some eat soon. But we don't know what to expect because we never had a baby's appointment before. Um, we just know that we running late. And everybody, hopefully she don't have to get no shots, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, uh, first of all, it is time for us to be where we're supposed to be at, but we're not there. You know what they say about getting out the door with a baby is worse? Totally true. Like, just listen to them when they say that, because it's the truth. So, I gotta learn how to be regular late, and not like, like, last minute late. And that's gonna be my new challenge. So, outside of that, I don't know what to expect. Um, I'm thinking that Nina might give a shot, might not get a shot. She might not need a shot yet, I don't know. But I know she got some shots at, at the hospital, whatever she had. Got, I think, a hepatitis shot. Yeah, the first one. She got the first hepatitis shot, and then she got the vitamin K. I did approve all that type stuff. So she got that, I just, Maybe it's just like check her weight, making sure like everything looks good, getting to know her, kind of starting her off type thing. Who knows? I never really watch videos on like baby's first appointments and stuff like that. I never really watch those videos. So we'll see how it goes. You see baby girl? Let's see if you can see it. Yep. She over here living my best life in her little bow and everything like that. Look at her. Y'all better look at her anyway, cause you know, it's just like when you have a kid, nobody cares about you no more. So I'm pretty sure y'all wanna look at me anyway, so let's look at her. She just got on white onesie cause that's literally the only thing she can fit. <laughs> She was 5.13 when we left the hospital. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. 97.6 Her average <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go back to the room. You feel better? <laughs> you feel better? Can you bring her got, back up here? Uh, uh, keep her in her little blanket up there. She's dying. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Are you done with this pet like that? No. No, no, no. Okay. Hey, baby. Hey, Nala. Nala's still asleep. Mm. <laughs> you want me to do that? Mm -hmm. Look at you. You did so well. Well. Mm. You didn't, at least you need an extra drop temperature. You're about the same you've always been. So let's see what happens when Doc come in. But I'm just going to sit here and try to bundle her up and get her a little bit more warm. All right. And you got her hepatitis B already done in the hospital, the shot. The first shot. Yeah. Good. She won't need another shot until she's one month. Okay. Are you able to carry her over? Or yeah. Grab her? Stick her right in this little spot here. You can keep the blanket with you and you can just lay the blanket right down on the paper. Okay, let's look her over together. So she's got some freckly look on her face and that usually fades. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if that would fade or fade. I think it will fade. Oh, you don't like me touching those toes. You have lots of hair. <laughs> Did you have a lot of heartburn? Was it true? Yes. Hair and heartburn? Yeah. 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 Every five minutes. So oh, man. Yeah. All right. You gotta look everywhere, baby. That all looks good. Now, usually over the next week or so, this area will get a little bigger, so her breast area will get bigger. Mm -hmm. She will be dry and scaly and maybe cracked and you can put a little Vaseline in these cracks but don't moisturize her everywhere. Mm -hmm. Her nails, you won't be able to cut them but you could, if you see a little flaky edge, you can just kind of peel it. Okay, because I was wondering about that. I'm like, oh, I don't want to touch them. Yeah, you can just kind of wipe them off. Oh, you're getting your picture done. Good, this is perfect poop. <laughs> Yuck, but yeah, <laughs> good. I think that's better than when we first. Yeah, and so she's gonna have a lot of them now. So, uh, and then all of a sudden they'll go to where it's like once a day or once every couple days. So, mm -hmm. just at the beginning, usually she'll poop very frequently, and it and it will irritate her skin. So you can put some diaper cream that on her rectum. Yeah, that. that's. Fine. shake and jiggle. These marks will take many years to fade. Okay. I forgot what that was. Do you think she has do you, do you think she has her full skin color now? Or do you it think It will continue to change a little. Do you mean will she get darker? Mhm. Mm oh, I've seen babies get darker. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you if it's going to stay this way or get darker or not. Mhm. Mm Look at her turning her head. So you want to do tummy time so she can turn her head from side to side. If you put your hand back here, she'll kind of push against you. See, she'll do that to try to move. She doesn't have any jaundice. That's not a concern at all. It's harder to tell in dark skinned babies the actual level. You were seeing Tuesday and it was 11. 
And she was two days old then? It was, yeah. Um, Tuesday, yeah, yeah two yeah, days. Yeah, she was two days old. So it was 8.8, .8, then it went to 10. Then it, they said 14, then it went back to 11. When did you? Mm-hmm. All right, so probably the best thing for us to do is just to check one more time here just to make sure we don't have any additional concern. It won't get any worse than today or tomorrow, so we wouldn't need to p check it again after that. Okay. So it'll just be one more poke on her heel, and I would expect the number's going to be just fine, mm -hmm. but I wasn't the one that saw her all the way through, so I don't oh, know how yeah. much less yellow she looks, plus her skin being dark, it's harder to tell yellow color on a dark skinned baby. Mm -hmm. All right, she looks beautiful. So there's nothing you can do about these little spots here. Just leave them without any moisturizer or mm -hmm. anything. All right, so you don't need to do anything with the belly button. You can mm -hmm. leave that unless she gets like poop or pee on it. Then you can do a little alcohol. Okay. And then you can go ahead and get her dressed mm -hmm. and then we'll poke her heel and I'll call you later today or tomorrow with the number. Okay. Just to reassure you about it. We'll call you either way, bad or good, but I don't expect it to be bad. I'm just gonna let you know that is fine. Okay. And then go ahead and set her up for her two week checkup. Okay. And you said she probably won't need shots until her- She will not need shots until she's one month of age. But, or, but I'll see her at two weeks and then again at one month. Okay, and the two weeks is just a, a Recheck her weight and answer any additional questions you have. Recheck mm -hmm. her skin. What other questions do you have? How long should we wait before having people come in to see her? So you can have people come, but I would do very, not crowds of people. I would have a sign on the door, please wash your hands as you come in. And then no toddlers or kids coming, you know, over, not big crowds of people. Mm -hmm. But you can have people come and see her. I would just make it not overly dramatic on you guys either. Cause really you just need to be feeding her and resting. So it's really hard this early mm -hmm. to have interruptions in your day, you know, I, I would, you can do it, but I would make it on your own terms so you're not exhausting yourself because she's going to be up a lot during the night for a, like, at least a month or so. And, and when the babies get ill and you take them to the emergency room, they do a lot of work up on infants, you know, because they're not smiling at you and reassuring you that they're fine. They're not, she's not going to smile for like six or seven or eight weeks. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to be doing everything for this child and she's going to look at you with a deadpan face. Like, <laughs> and then eventually she'll bright up that room with a big smile and you'll realize why it's all worth it. So it just takes some time. So when you have an infant under the age of two months who gets sick, we are more concerned about them because we can't use any kind of clues that they're mm -hmm. doing okay. All right, we will call you later. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you too. Yeah. Hey babe. Hey babe. You did so well. Ooh, now that your eyes are open. You did so well. Good job, baby. You did well. Good job. You didn't even fuss too much when she was doing all that stuff to you. Mm -mm. At the hospital, it was like three, four times a day. Maybe because mama bothers you all the time. I like that your eyes are open now. All right, we'll be back. All right, so we're just not leaving the doctor's appointment. Everything went good. So far, as far as my thoughts, because like I said before, this is the first time us meeting. But so far, I mean, so good. I mean, there was real chill. I expected to have to sit there for 45 minutes before being seen, but we barely had time to really check in before um, getting called back. So. I mean, it's too, it's too early to determine anything, but so far, in my opinion, it's good. They have a separate area for sick babies and well babies, which is I thought was pretty good. The doctor herself seemed just straightforward, kind of like my doctor, to be honest. Um, which I'm cool with. As long as you keep it 100 with me and don't be disrespectful, I don't care. What would really make me understand how I feel is when I start seeing those co-pays. It was zero today. It was zero today. That was funny when she was like, did you see yellow poop yet? I was like, yep. Yep. <laughs> it's like, oh, your breast milk's coming in then. 
<laughs> it's making me a little sad when she said it because I'm like, I can't fully just like devote it to my breast milk. But it's cool. Well, at least you know she's getting some of it. Yeah, but my milk is coming in. Oh, we didn't, I ain't talking about that. So last night, I got a little bit more drops of milk. I got 15 mLs. Ooh. That was what she was drinking when she first came out. Ooh. Not no more, I'll tell you that much. Last night, she drank so much. She had about, if I had to guess, she had about a good two and a half, almost three of those bottles in one session. In one session? Yeah. When she got to me, she only drank like one third of the bottle. Yeah. I was like switching bottles. I was like, wait a minute. Like this was supposed to be like multiple sessions. This was like a just in case thing. And I was too tired last night to breastfeed. So what I did was I wanted to try something different. So I was like, maybe I'll only breastfeed during the day and only formula feed at night. So that way I can be able to get rest because she wakes up every hour and a half at night. So I have to like find my times between sleep. So if she's feeding every hour and a half, but if I breastfeed her, she's on the boot for about an hour. So therefore I'm only getting like 30 minutes of sleep and 30 minutes of mommy sleep I'm gonna call it ain't no sleep at all because your eyes wide open if you hear a peep so we are here watching spider-man child but I just got finished changing Nala whatever and I thought for some reason that I should show you guys what her belly button uh, umbilical cord situation ship is looking like it is four days, right? Four days after birth. And I feel like every time I change the diaper, it looks different. They say it takes about a week to fall off. But, I don't know. I knew that they used to do, like, they had the little, like, large clamp thing that'd be, like, this big and it's plastic. But I never knew that. Uh-oh. That was huge. That was a really big hiccup. You okay, sweetie? Okay, you okay. Anyway, um, I didn't know that this little plastic piece was kind of a part of that. And it, it's supposed to fall off with all this gunk that's in her belly button. I don't see many people talking about this, so I thought I should show you guys what it looks like. We haven't done anything to it i think it looks pretty good they just say if it don't bother it unless it gets like poop or pee on it and then in that case just put alcohol over it and it just kind of dries it and cleans it off and just wait for it to fall off just don't bother it i'm just very curious on what her belly button is going to look like once it does fall off that would be a thing but i just thought i should show you guys what it's looking like uh nala i don't know if you can tell on camera she is very tiny um, this is newborn size socks and look, that is what it's looking like. A mitten. <laughs> a really big shoe. Uh, knee highs, you know, whatever you want to call it. But this is all I have for now. And we're just going to roll with the punches. She don't really have to wear a lot of clothes right now because, first of all, excuse me, she ain't going nowhere. Uh, second of all, um, she's breastfeeding, so half the time she needs to be naked to breastfeed because that encourages uh, her to latch. So I haven't put any lotion or anything on her because they told me not to. And yeah, she's just sitting up here um, living her best life, child. Look at all this Mongolian spot. I didn't even realize that it was on her thigh. Did you realize that, babe? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it. And that takes a long time to get rid of her. Mama Rue ain't no joke. This thing been my life saving. Yes, it ain't giving me more time. Oh, we about to go. Uh, but the one most frustrating thing about um, Nala and people getting to know her and stuff is that nobody act like they want to say her name right. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard. Like, I don't understand it. Why is everybody calling her Nyla? Nyla. 
nah la. and it really makes me guess if they know their vows like it just made me then the doctor said nayla nayla yeah we get nayla nyla yeah mostly those two but nyla is the biggest one it is not la na la let's do it in a a a a a we thought that you can't get no simple than this four letters we so thought so people just make up names for your baby yeah they make it up and um only few people get it right and i just can see poor nala that when she start to tell her own name she's gonna have to do a slogan and that's what i was trying to prevent because when I had my maiden name, I had to do a slogan. And that was annoying. Just say, for example, she has to be like Nala, like the Lion King. Why she have to give all this disclaimer? Like, <laughs> so she's going to have to say that. Like Nala, like the Lion King. Nala. And I was trying to prevent that, but I guess it is what it is. Like, it's only been four days and I already see it getting annoying. And I'm not the other person that usually get annoyed by pronunciation of names because I'm so used to people never saying my name right that I just kind of be like, cool, I understand or whatever. Cause mine is slightly different. Like my name, Carissa, that's not really my name. It's Clarissa, but no one's gonna have the time to say that. And I get that, but her name is like simple, two syllables. That's it. That's it. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. But we're about to get to this movie. I'm going to eat me a snack, and then we're going to get to it. And we'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. All right. Bye.